When people first see Brooke Schnarr's John Deere tractor, they often assume she painted it the wrong color. People do question me about it. They're confused about how the John Deere is supposed to be green, but then it's yellow. But then when you tell them how it's supposed to be the industrial yellow, then they kind of understand, but they're still confused on why it's not the green as a normal John Deere. This is a 1965 John Deere 1010 landscape, one of only a small handful painted industrial yellow instead of the traditional green and yellow. Brooks' dad, Darren, found it at the local dealer and decided to bring it home. Brooke, only eight at the time, announced right away it was going to be her tractor. Brought it home, got it running, and uh, daughter was out in the shop with me a lot. And she wanted to uh, go for a ride, so we took it for a ride, and we were behind the lake back there riding around and stopped for a little bit. And she said, Dad, I really like this tractor. I want it to be mine. And that's where it started to be hers. <laughs> Darren wasn't going to just give this tractor to Brooke. He made sure she understood that there was going to be some work involved. I told her if she helps restore it and get us it restored, that she could have it as be hers. And she's done a lot of the work on it herself. You know, she, we'd, we'd work on it for a while and, and get some guidance from me, and I'd tell her what she needed to do, and she'd work on it for a while, and then we might take a break for a while, and, you know, just kind of worked on it slower for the next several years when we had time. So it, it's been a fun project. When I first started, I had a lot of help from my father, and then as the years went on, I increased in doing it on my own. The experience was very educational. I learned different parts of the tractor that I might not have known before and how to put everything together and different tools to use. There's, there's sometimes I'd come out there and she'd be working on it and I didn't even know she was out there. You know, it, it, it just, you know, you'd be, it just gives you a special feeling. I know that, <laughs> that they're interested in wanting to do that. One of the big tasks was fixing the paint. Father and daughter didn't know at first that they had bought a rare industrial version of a 1010 because it was painted a strange shade of green. The green that wasn't even John Deere green, it was just like spray paint green and then the yellow was chipping through and you could see the yellow coming through. And then we just took it all apart, stripped it down, re-sanded everything and painted it the industrial yellow. It's yellow now. When we started uh, looking around on it, we noticed little flakes of yellow coming through underneath the green. And the more we took it apart, the more we realized that it was a yellow tractor to start with. It was the little details that took up the biggest chunk of the Schnars time as they worked to ensure this restoration was accurate. Some of the really challenging things were the lights on the tractor because the lights are really rare and they're older and they don't make them more in the manufacturers. So we had to go to the salvage yards, look through everything. They're about at the bottom of every pile. We took them off of one tractor and we had to go through and take everything out and restrip all the wires because the thing was totally shot, but we got the right shape of the light. We had to come up with some tires for it. Uh, you can buy this size tire currently, but it makes it a square tire on the rear. And we wanted that round look like it should have been from the factory. So we ended up buying a, another brand of the tractor that had new tires on it just to get the tires and swapped them out and sold that tractor. The 1010 is the smallest of John Deere's new generation of tractors, and its four-cylinder gas engine produces more than 30 horsepower. We didn't have to go into the engine. It actually, compression was good on it, and it doesn't burn any oil. We did have to rebuild the electrical system, the carburetor, you know, they were just worn out, you know, you know just years of use. Um, and the governor, we had to take it apart and had to make some new pins to put in the governor and the weights because it was, you know, they were really worn. But uh, otherwise, uh, the motor really turned out to be okay. We were surprised. <laughs> it took me about five years to finish the tractor. First time we rolled it out, it didn't run because it didn't have gas in it because we forgot to put that in. But after we got it in, then we drove it around the yard and I drove it for like three hours straight because I was so excited. Now, Brooks 1010 joins the rest of the family's collection, which features lots of rare and unusual John Deere models. We collect a lot of tractors. My grandpa, that is his new thing, is collecting tractors and taking them to shows and everything. Um, we actually have buildings full of tractors down on, down on the road. So I plan to collect more rare ones just like this one and we actually have one in the shop now that's there's only three in the world so if we come across something different you know that's what we like to add you know it it doesn't have to be really rare but mainly just that it's different from what you see every day around in this area naturally this tractor is one of the family's favorites because of the special bond that it created between father and daughter 
My favorite thing is the time that we got to spend with my daughter building it. That that's the in that's the big part to me is it's a cool tractor but the time that I got to spend with my daughter to restore it that's the best time about it that's the thing I like the most about it and always be special. It's more of a father-daughter bonding time and you get to enjoy something with your father that you can say this is something me and my father did ourselves not me and my whole family it was just me and my dad and as I'm driving it I just feel the pride and accomplishment and it just really is touching.